Hello, my name is Bernice Chang with the Bellingham Public Library in Bellingham, Washington, and this is Lena. Today, Lena and I will be sharing some fun songs and rhymes with you and even share how we read a story together. Yeah, is that right? So starting at birth, we encourage families to incorporate the five early literacy practices into their daily routines. Those practices are talking, singing, reading, writing, and playing. Today, we're going to focus on the practice of singing. So that first year of life, your baby's brain is working really hard to develop language skills. And so singing is one of the most important things you can do for that because when you sing and rhyme with your little one, they're hearing the smaller sounds and words to help them acquire language. Okay, so we're going to start with some fun songs. The first one we're going to start with is the Itsy Bitsy Spider. And we'll do it with Lena sitting up like this. Here we go. The Itsy Bitsy Spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the Itsy Bitsy spider went up the spout again. Yay! Let's do that again. Are you ready? The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and oh, washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Yay! Um, so you'll find that a lot of the times when you're singing with your little ones that they have a favorite song and um, you'll be singing that one over and over and over again. Lena's is the Itsy Bitsy Spider. She loves that one. Okay, next we're going to share a fun one called Icky Bicky Soda Cracker. It goes like this. You'll rock from side to side and you'll sing Icky Bicky Soda Cracker, Icky Bicky Boo, go nose to nose, Icky Bicky Soda Cracker up. Goes you! Icky Vicky Soda Cracker, Icky Vicky Boo. Icky Vicky Soda Cracker, I love you. Hmm. Let's do that again. Are you ready? Here we go. Icky Vicky Soda Cracker, Icky Vicky Boo. Icky Vicky Soda Cracker, up goes you! Icky Vicky Soda Cracker, Icky Vicky Boo. Icky Vicky Soda Cracker, I love you. Mm. Good job. I really love that one because it's fun and it has some fun um, hugs and kisses at the end. Okay, next we're going to do a fun rhyme called Zoom, 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 We're Going to the Moon. This is uh, another one of our favorites and another one that Storytime families really enjoy. Okay, so you rock from side to side and it goes like this. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we'll be there very soon. Five, four, three, two, one, blast off! Yay! Let's do that again. Ready? Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we'll be there very soon. Five, four, Three, two, one, blast off! Good job. So, um, a lot of times I have families ask me and just or say to me that you know I really don't feel comfortable singing, and so I have a hard time. I feel hesitant singing with my baby because I don't have a good singing voice. If you're gonna take anything out of today, I wanna to tell you all that your voice is your baby's favorite voice. So sing, sing, sing as much as possible. Um, add singing into your daily routines, bathing time, singing, um, singing, um, diaper changing time, feeding time, um, and just sing and, until you feel comfortable with it and you won't even think about it anymore. I felt the same way when I first started singing and I now am very comfortable with singing because I do it all the time. And like I said, your baby loves your voice. Um, one way to ease into um, singing with your little one is to try to find a little teeter. There we go. She's teething, and so she might want her little teething toy. Um, 
is to read books that sing. I really like that as a starting place because um, the words are right there in front of you and um, they're usually tunes that you are familiar with. Like the babies on the bus goes to the tune of the wheels on the bus. And so um, I just really like that, like I said before, the words are right there and it just makes it feel easier and more comfortable. And there are a lot of books that sing out there. This one is written by Karen Katz. Um, Jane Cabrera also writes a lot of books that sing. Okay, so we're going to um, read this one together. We're going to model how that works. Um, I have families who also say, you know, I feel like my little one doesn't like to read as much as other babies. And I find most of the time it's the position of baby. So um, Lena doesn't mind sitting in my lap and reading with me, but her brother didn't like um, when he was a baby, like sitting in my lap to read. I found that he liked to lay down and I would lay down with him and I'd hold the book up and we'd read the book that way together. Uh, maybe your baby likes tummy time. So get on your tummies together and read um, facing each other or um, lying, ne lying next to each other. So um, like, like I said, find a comfortable space for you and baby and try it out. Okay, so we'll sing the story, The Wheels on, uh, The Babies on the Bus. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round, all through the town. The doors on the bus go open and shut, open and shut, open and shut. The doors on the bus go open and shut, all through the town, the babies on the bus sing la la la, la la la, la la la. The babies on the bus sing la la la, all through the town. The wipers on the bus go swish swish swish, swish 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 swish, swish swish swish. The wipers on the bus go swish swish swish, all through the town. The babies on the bus bounce bumpity bump, bumpity bump, bumpity bump. The babies on the bus bounce bumpity bump all through the town. And sometimes babies want to stop at a page and look at it. Totally fine. You can talk about what you see. Um, you can read the words again. And also don't feel tied down to the words on the page. Change them or... Um, or uh, read parts of what you see on the page. And with these books too, is there's no plot. So if baby wants to skip a couple pages or go back a few pages, that's totally fine. You're not missing out on anything huge. And the next time you read, maybe you'll read a new page. Um, and a lot of times babies also like to chew books. Lena likes to chew books. And um, that's great. That's how babies are exploring books. And that's how they first handle a book is by chewing the book. Hey, did your tongue get stuck in the page? That's silly. Um, and so those are the songs and rhymes we wanted to share today and to read and show you how we read a story. I think it's Lena's time to say goodbye. So bye-bye. We'll see you next time. Thank you for joining us.